Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Coding with Ado. Today we're gonna work with GitHub API. So the idea of the project for today is we're gonna list our public repositories and our private repositories. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start with the public repositories. Okay, so let's go to the code. Let's go npm init y and we are getting the package let's go index.js and we're gonna work uh, using axios so let's do npm e axios okay and the idea here is that we're gonna const axios equals to require axios okay we're gonna create a sync function which we're gonna do these two functions i showed you so it's get public repositories and then the get private repositories okay so oh wait oh wait and let's console log whatever comes from both so for the public repositories Let's do a um, sync function get other repositories. Okay. And it's basically just an access call, you know, so we are going to do a, a const response equals to an await access.get. And we're going to do https api.github slash users slash uh, sorry so this is my username on github if you don't follow me already go on and follow me there um, and then we're gonna do a return response data and we're gonna encapsulate all these in a try catch okay so in case if anything fails catch error console error So basically, if we run this, the product doesn't exist anymore right now. So let's clear this out. Let's do node index. And we have, you know, my profile. You know, this is my profile, right? So in order to get my repositories, um, we should be able to so do the uh, annotations, descriptions. There should be a link. Oh, repository. Okay. So you should be able to do like slash repos and you can see all my repositories which are the public repositories you know Node.js, Google, uh, speech and text and this is Google Cloud Vision using Node.js Google Cloud Vision yeah so you have all my public repositories okay so everything is in here so now we want to do like how do I get the private repositories? So the only way to get the private repositories is for us to get the token for a, you know, the GitHub token. Okay, so let's go and get that for us. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go to settings here. We're gonna go down and go to developer settings, personal access tokens, find great tokens, Generate a new token, use GitHub Mobile. I'm gonna move it to me in a second. And now let's call this a uh, coding with Ado. Definition, let's do set update. So only for this video. Um, let's do our repositories here so you can see every single repository from owned by the resource owner uh, okay perfect repository permissions let's do um, in here you can do whatever you want you know like just add different data manage the repositories but the purpose of the video is just to show and display like the prior repository so you need anything from there from there the original to the services um, 
Let's see if I can get creations in the system, deal correlators, no. You are just going to snow, this cold space is no, cold space is no, cold space is no. Contents, no, we don't need that. We discussion about uh, metadata, yeah, this one. The only. Page is no, pull request, no, request, no, security, okay, so it's no. You get variables for hooks for health, no. Okay, so generate token. Okay, so now we have a token. Let's go to our code. Let's add a .n file here. And let's do GitHub access token. And let's put our token here. So let's install .n. Let's cause a require config. And let's create a function async function get uh, repositories. Okay, and let's try cons response equals to an await axios.get and we're gonna do the same thing. API.github.com slash users slash um, a I think first I need the slash user um, and then we're gonna do headers um, authorization token and let's do the github access token Okay, so let's, um, so we have that, we have that, then we're gonna do the same thing, return response data, and then catch here, error, console.error. Okay, so let's run now only this thing, okay. Uh, oh, it's process dot dot the token. Cool. So now we have the same thing, but without sending the user around. So I can see now the user, my user. So now if we do the same repos, um, yeah, the same repos should be getting the repositories. Okay, and what we want to do is the visibility, right? So let's make this simpler so we can see all the information. So let's get the i let's get the ID, the name, oh and private. Okay, let's get ID, name and private. So we're gonna do dot map uh, the data, it will be return id equals the id name equals the name private equals the okay so let's get the list there right so we have all these and it seems that everything is still false it's private the uh, repo public repo i think that's it yeah and everything here is the public repo oh because we're going going here okay so in order to get the private repos, we need to do something different. So actually we need to do a, the user without my, this, my name, repos, okay? So this is similar to before, remember that this will be like slash user to get the user information. So basically we have to bypass this, we use the token and then the slash repos. So if we run this again, you can see this MLND private true, this is CSA true, this can go out true. So now you can see all my private and public private uh, repositories using the API. So yeah, you can do the same thing here if you want. So you can get both activated. You can see the public and the private and public. 
repositories. Okay. So yeah, that's basically how you communicate with GitHub. You can do a lot of more things, not just making your repositories. You could do like approval requests, create your own box to approve, commit, all of those things. Um, manage issues, etc. Like maybe you could do sometime. We could work on that if you guys want and you can comment on below. If we can do like an integration between GitHub issues and maybe Salesforce or Shira or Trello uh, that we did the video uh, yesterday, I think. Um, so yeah, we could do all of that managed entirely and then push messages to Slack, for example. So you could automate your own deployment and development stress structure and strategy. So yeah, if you like this type of videos, just comment, like, subscribe and yeah, see you on the next video. Bye bye.